Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to show you drag and drop zip files into Zoom Notes. Now, and I put on there, I did not know this because I did not know this. <laughs> right? Someone asked me the question in one of my videos about dragging and dropping zip files into Zoom Notes. And the first thought I had was, you, well, you can't do that. You know, <laughs> but, but I've done this long enough to know now that I don't just, I try not to just make those flat out statements. When I make a statement like that, I'm maybe about 75% right. <laughs> you know, so always take what I say as a statement. If you don't see me do something and I make a statement, then I'm, I might be wrong. And I'm admitting that right now. I have learned that things happen when you're not watching. <laughs> you know, it falls under those, and I did some other things, category that often gets put at the end of the list of modification updates made. Well, that happened apparently at some point because I don't remember ever being able to do this. Um... Now, let me just show you. I am inside a document. That's just a picture. I, in order to draw that, that yellow arrow, I had to take a screenshot. But I want to open up my um, folder list and show you what you cannot do. Let's see. I want to search for 5-tab. D-A-B. Okay. If I grab hold of this zip file right here and try to drag it into Zoom Notes inside a document, see it's not letting me do it. There's no green plus sign. But if I go out to the document level and I do it again, drag, see the green arrow? I mean the green plus sign, sorry. If I drag and drop it, See, it just unzipped it. I never knew. Um, and it's called five tab. Let's see how I've got this thing sorted. Oh, it, it dropped it at the top this time. It's these three right here. Those are the three documents that it just opened. And they work just like a document would. Okay. Now, um... A little while ago, when I first tried it, it wasn't, it didn't appear to be working. I think I was in this folder right here, and I tried dragging and dropping, and I got the little green sign, and I let go, I mean the plus sign. Okay, and I don't see anything. I don't see it, you know. It looked like it worked, and it showed that it worked, but the problem was I was... It is putting it on the main group. This is a subgroup. So if I go back out here, then I see here they are, you know. It's adding it to the uppermost level. So if you're somehow, find, if you find yourself in a folder that has a bunch of different documents in it, and you try this, see if I go here. Now I know that I've got this particular folder set up so that it will only take my working journals. And I do that with work, workspaces. Um, if I click on that, see it says restrict to folder. Anything that's got 2022 in the title, it's going to, if it does not have 2022, it's not gonna leave it in this, in this folder. I'm just learning about workspaces too. They're pretty amazing. But if I try it now to do it, see, and drag and drop it, it looks like it worked. But I look, and it's nowhere to be seen. So that could be very confusing, and maybe that's the answer to her question. She may be in a folder um, that's not letting her save to it. But if I go back out to the upper level, then I should have a boatload of them. I should have a lot that's got like, see, there they are down at the bottom now. All right, so that's all you have to do. Who knew? I always thought you had to do this plus 
and then do import and go to iCloud. And you can do that, but you don't have to. And I would even unzip it, you know. I thought I had to have the folder version of it. And um, so I would click on it and unzip it. And, of course, I, I wouldn't get that far because I, I never even thought to try it with a zip file pulling it in automatically. All right. Anyway, that's all. <laughs> Who knew? Y'all have a great day here. Bye.